Welcome back everyone. Let's talk about the game loop and the when created event. The when created event only happens once and this is when the object is created. So if an object is created and there is a little bit of code in the when created it will ha execute that code once. If it's in the always it will continually be executing that code. So for example if let's say in the when created you added in a fire projectile so it will shoot a little ball across the screen. If you put that code in the when created, it will only happen once. If you put that code in the always, it will happen for how many times the loop is. So for example, if it, the loop is 60 times a second, uh, it will fire 60 balls a second. Okay? It's important to know the difference between always and when created. I find a lot of beginners get confused with this topic, so always, always happens, and when created only happens once. And a lot of bugs can happen if the developer mixes up these two. Welcome back, everyone. Okay, so let's go to add event, basic, and when creating. Now, remember, when code is in this box here, it means that it only gets played once, or it only gets read once. So if we go ahead and we add in the set X, and let's just say 400. Okay, and what this means is that the X is going to get set to 400. Now if we hop into our scene here, the X is along the horizontal axis, meaning that it goes from left to right, and this right here is 0. Okay, so the left side is 0, and depending on your project size, it's going to be more than 0, but in this case, it's going to be 640. So if we go back to Test Actor, it's going to set the X to 400, meaning that along the x-axis here, so it doesn't matter if this is you know, here or here, the, the height won't matter, but where it is in the x-axis will matter. Now 400 should be around there. So if we go ahead and we push test game, the star will appear at 400, and that is where, where it should be. Okay. Now if we want to, we can do go ahead and bring this over except we click on Y this time and we're gonna say 200 okay and if we play it now that's 200 because again this is 0 with Y 0 is right here at the bottom and 400 okay and we can change those numbers to wherever we want but again this when created happens at the beginning so let's say if you want to spawn an enemy at a certain location you can actually use these numbers here Anything that you want to happen when the object is created, you want to use the when created. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.